Hey guys, welcome back to another video of prompt engineering course. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to talk about one of my favorite functionalities with chat GPT, which is basically tabular formatting. So before we start the video, let me just demonstrate this lab with you guys real quickly. We'll be using prompts to get output from chat GPT in the form of tabular format. And also we'll be applying prompt engineering techniques to improve our output as always. All right. So first of all, we'll discuss what is basically tabular format prompting is. So this format allows for clear organization and presentation of data, make it easier for the user to analyze and comprehend the output, leading it to uh, more accurate understandings and insights. So it is basically, uh, you know, giving your output a clear, more, uh, you know, pure tabular format so that, you know, it might easy for you to understand and you can like jot it down with you, like with no problem at all. So here's what our formula would be. This is actually a multi-step process. So we're going to start off with the question. So the next prompt that you want to do is what are the different categories you're going to break your answer into for more descriptiveness. And the third one will be uh, you will create one one single tab that includes all your original answer with these new categories separated into different columns. So first of all, you'll just type in your question and the next thing you're going to ask him to categorize those into separate different columns. And the last thing you're going to ask him to create separate tables for their respective columns. So it will be easy for you to understand and jot it down. Okay, so this will be the example that we're going to be doing today. So without wasting any time, let's just get right into it. And I'm going to open my chat GPT here. All right, so following our formula, first First of all, I'm going to ask him uh, the question that was in our example with me. I'm going to ask him, what are the main factors of growing a YouTube channel? All right, so as you guys can see, it gave me like eight to nine points of different factors uh, through which you can grow a YouTube channel or you can make one. So it is like in bullet form or points form. So obviously it is not convincing to me. It's not like that engaging. So I want that to be in, you know, uh, a pure tabular form so that it could be very easy for you to understand. I'm just gonna insert my next from right here which was in our formula. So I'm gonna ask him, what are the main categories? Uh, you can break your answer with these categories separated into different columns. So I want chat GPT to separate all of these into different columns. So it will be easy for us to understand. Okay, so it did the second part for us. Uh, so it made different columns for us, but I still want that in a uh, more tabular form uh, because I want the headings to be separated. I want their factors to be separated. So let's just uh, write in our third prompt, which was the part of our formula as well. Now I'm gonna ask him to create one table uh, a final table that includes your original answer with these categories separated into different columns. So let's just see what output we're gonna get out of that. All right, so here we go. Uh, now you can see it is looking more convincing, more appealing to us. So these are the different factors that have been separated in, in a tabular form. So for content factors, you need a high quality content, compelling videos, value to target audience and consistency. So these are the few factors you need to be following in your content. And if you want optimization of that, you can do SEO, thumbnails and titles, video optimization, uh, productivity, analytics and insights persistence and patience and if you want to engage audience and you want engagement factors you need to have the audience engagement in that promotion and collaboration and consistent branding so yeah as you guys can get an idea from that so now it is very easy for you to understand right so if you are looking for the content factors and if you are like very good with optimization factors so obviously there is a separate column for that if you want to skip that uh, you can easily do that and you can just look into the rest of the factors so yeah that is basically very easy for us now to understand and follow and very easy to apply as well so yeah that was basically it for uh, today's video i hope you guys liked it if you do don't forget to check our more videos on prompt engineering course and i'll catch you guys in the next one see you bye bye